100 Beers is back for round 19. And this week, we're going back to the Caribbean. And Trinidad and Tobago. Hang on a minute. That's a typo. It should be Carib. Not Carol. She's that annoying woman who keeps commenting on your posts on Facebook. Just off the Venezuela coast, we will find Trinidad, Tobago. This time from the 100 Beers office. Do you like it? It might be a good new filming location going forward. We'll see. And today we're reviewing Carib Trinidad Lager, purchased from the one and only Beers of Europe. Will they ever let me down? I've since found, however, that Carib is also sold at major UK supermarkets, including Asda. And Tesco. Tesco additionally sell interesting looking lime, ginger beer and sorrel shandy variants of the beer. If anyone's had one of these I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Thank you. Carib Lager is brewed by the conveniently named Carib Brewery headquartered in Chamflor on the Trinidad Island. The brand also has breweries in St Kitts and Nevis and Grenada. So, for those of you that don't know much about it, Trinidad and Tobago is a nation split into two islands. Trinidad and Tobago. Obvious, right? It's the most southerly island nation in the Caribbean, sitting just 11 kilometres or 6.8 miles off the coast of mainland South America and the country of Venezuela. Like many of the world's modern nations, Trinidad and Tobago was once a British territory before gaining independence from the United Kingdom in 1962. Despite the popularity of Carib locally and across the Caribbean, beer is not the nation's main export. That would be petroleum, which contributes massively to GDP and middle class wealth within the country. Carib is a 5.0% premium lager with absolutely no description of taste on the bottle. It has a cumulative rating of 2.94 out of 5 on untapped. So I'm not expecting anything particularly impressive. Let's find out. Quite a carbonated, vibrant, pale lager. Wonder how it tastes. Let's go. So like the Vindhauk I tried a couple of episodes ago, this is a very carbonated lager. Almost too carbonated, if you ask me. Um, the taste is actually quite nice, but the carbonation is very intense. I appreciate it is a beer from Trinidad, so it would be something you'd be more accustomed to trying on a beach or on a very, very hot, sunny day somewhere in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's okay. And again, on reflection, it's something I think I would really enjoy as a refreshing lager if I was on one of those beaches, travel permitting. Not bad. Just make it less fizzy next time, please. <laughs> <laughs> 